Let the galaxy burn. Hi guys, Skypoint here, and today I've got a radical rethink of my Sevatar deck. So the old Sevatar deck which I shared with you in my last video seemed to work really really well for a day and I rose almost 400 ladder points in the ladder, I easily broke well into the top 30 players in the game, and the very next day I dropped 500 points playing with the same deck. So. I had a discussion on the Discord with a couple of veteran players and they made some really good points that it wasn't that the deck was bad per se, it's that the meta changed and it was probably harder to uh, for that deck to do well. The main reason was with Space Wolves coming out with um, direct protection against tactical attacks, area effect uh, tactics became much more popular and that meant that these guys, these sweet seductive guys became not so great. So, um, the problem with Recon Claw is my deck, in particular, was really dependent on Recon Claw. I had a lot of expensive units which I would rely on giving flank to with Recon Claw. And the problem which I had there was uh, that if Recon Claw died early on, my deck became sort of like dead weight. It just couldn't react fast enough to threats and I would get totally outnumbered. So I set about creating a deck that did not have Recon Claw in it at all, and uh, it works out significantly better. <laughs> so let's take a look at this new deck. Alright, so we start obviously with Sevatar as the Warlord. Coming in at 2 energy, we add one Dirty Fighter card. So this is there just to help cycle through uh, my cards and also it allows me to take one attack without taking any damage in return. If it comes up in the first turn, uh, that's even better. But otherwise, uh, it's always useful to have Dirty Fighter because having an effect and drawing a card is a good good result. I've got two Abandoned Supplies. Uh, these are also there to help me to uh, hunt through my deck and uh, also discard, discount cards which I find, so I like that. Now we start getting into this, so I'm doing a lot more um, units with flank and fast in this deck so that I can wipe out enemy units and then use Sevatar's boosted attack on the enemy. So Goldstone Hunters are a no-brainer there. Nostramo is there, to be honest, for both of its effects. So giving enemies can't attack buys me a little time and drawing a card um, is always a good outcome. So Nostramo is a nice little card still. <coughs> Rule of Fear is useful always, and then Terror Tactics is both helpful defensively, again it helps to buy you a turn, as well as helping, helping to trigger Rule of Fear, especially with Sevatar's ability. Pi Alpha, now I've got two of these in these decks to try and uh, both heal me up as well as remove stun. Now we start getting into some other units which I just didn't have before. I've got uh, two Tyridol squads, so these guys uh, they have an effect only if the enemy has no troops, so then they gain fast and they can really help you to push that advantage. Uh, they're great early on. A lot of people don't like them in late game because you play them and they do nothing special, but at worst you get a guy with average stats for 3 energy, so... I mean, it's not the worst outcome. Urker Lawn. So these guys, I'm still a little torn on. They're slightly squishy with only two um, health. They get wiped out easily by a lot of abilities. But they seem to, so far, help me out at times. So I'm keeping them at the moment. And I haven't got anything better to swap them out with yet. Felician 5th Airborne, great as always. Being in, um, Having stealth means that they're really li quite likely to survive until they get to attack. Tenebor Talent, this is, um, as uh, Lucifer described it, is one of the best tempo-keeping tempo games uh, units in the game. Because when you're down and you have no units, this guy lets you just quickly bounce back. And with 3 health, actually, if you attack the enemy Warlord, he survives. And with 4 attack, it means the enemy Warlord must spend energy trying to kill him next turn or take 4 damage to the face. Caper mode or caper mode. I've got this as a little bit of a defense move. It helps out at times. It makes the enemy think twice about doing a direct attack, which is often great. Endros Shrek, well, he's just great. 
Uh, Firewalker is this is really handy for Sevatar. It gives you three attack even on turns when you normally wouldn't get that. Vibius Talon. This is a common card, but I'm actually finding it works out nicely. Essentially, I play it as kind of like the equivalent of Outflank from Sons of Horus. They let you do five damage to anything, and five damage is often enough to kill anything. And if they survive, well, so much the better, because then, uh, just like with uh, Tenebor Talon, their stats are so good that they have to be prioritized for destruction. Reaper of Kaldrak is now the only unit in here which has terror, apart from Endros Shek. Um, it's, yeah, its ability to just stop an enemy from attacking is just too useful to pass up. And lastly, the Raven as a finishing move. Alright, so with that scene, let's go ahead and check out how this deck does on the ladder. So my ranking is now creeping back up. It's around 38879. Eight, eight, let's get a match and take a look at how, how this goes. Okay, we have a match. We are up against Alpha Legion. Who is it? It is probably this. Yep, it's Kahir's again. Alright. I've got the initiative this time, so that's good. Uh, these cards aren't terrible. Death to the false emperor. We are legion. There we go. Attack. And actually, next turn, I can drop Urk her alone. That's gonna work out nicely. He turns into Altharius. Probably gonna drop a, draw a card now. Yep, there we go. He draws a card. He does get Vivius Talon as well, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, so we're in the slight lead on health, although Alpha Legion have so much healing you can't always rely on that. Nice Tenebrous Talon, that's useful. Draw the uh, Felician Airborne. Keep pushing this. There's a Tenebrous Talon coming in. Ooh, an Urkar alone, and that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Ooh, nice, and a Strambo. Okay, so this is looking strong so far. Let's see what he pulls out. It's probably going to be a stun. Thunderhawk on Urker alone. Oh no, he's going for those guys. Interesting, interesting. Reaper of Caldrac or Vibius Talon or Firewalkers. I think that was the right call. I'll probably get stunned next turn and it won't matter. Let's see. Yep, there's the stun. Okay, so I see that stun and I bring in the Reaper of Caldrac instead. Instrument on the Reaper. Not a bad move there. Okay, I can bring another Reaper in. Or Vibius Talon right now. Let's go the Vibius Talon here. And start dumping out my hand. 
in preparation for the harrowing which is going to come. Hopefully it's a harrowing and not outland score. One of many. Okay, he's healing. Maybe he's hoping for Exodus. Stun cards he drew. Ooh, that's not great for him. All right, that's a nice avatar win there. Okay, we're up against another angry rod. Who is it this time? Is it Harbinger again? No, it's Hellhammer. Okay. I'm going to keep the abandoned supplies to start with. Just swap the other two cards. And... Terra Tactics Rule of Fear. Alright, fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pull out abandoned supplies. And draw check. That's actually not bad for turn three. It means that if he starts slamming those serrate land speeders into me, or gold stones into me, and draw check will just get stronger. heals himself. Clever boy. I should not have attacked him. That was a silly move by me. Alright, let's drop the Endros check and go. Rule of fear is the solution to Jubax in case he drops a Jubax. Ooh, nice. Tenebor Talon. That's... Oh, I don't have any... Ugh, that sucks. Alright, I will just wait here now. I forgot. I can't use Tanabor Talon special if I don't ha if I have any other units in play. Mortar Strike lands on Tanabor Talon. Nice. I guess he served a purpose after all. All right, let's do this. Drop the Firewalkers and get an uh, Andros Shrek doing some work before he gets wiped out by some effect. No survivors, okay. Bye bye, Andros Shack. Okay, now we start give him to give him a bad day. Reaper of Kaldrak. And attack. Do I want to press it? I'm not going to press it. I'm going to press it. There we go. If I attack with both my guys, he'll end up... Oh no, he's got a uh, Armor of Mars. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, let's see what else I can have to annoy him. Ooh, a Caper Mode, and another Caper Mode to follow that. He will not appreciate that at all. He has to attack, and if Caper Mode's alive, he's going to take damage. Strike and Fade takes out my guy there, okay. And he attacks Caper Mode. And takes damage. Ooh, Urker alone for two damage. 
Uh, but if I drop Urker alone, he's going to go down. To oh, you know what? This might work. It's risky. It's very risky. If he attacks uh, uh, these guys, he goes to one health, but then Caper Mode will destroy him. So if he can take out Caper Mode first, he won't turn into a demon. If he doesn't have a way of taking out Caper Mode, he will turn into a demon. If he turns into a demon, my only hope will be to draw the raven next turn, which will be a 1 in 19 chance, that's around 6%. Okay, so, it feels like he's struggling for a way to destroy caper mode. Oh, that's a good move. And he sends these guys back. He attacks me. Oh, and he realized this. That's a good move by him there. Wait, why didn't he turn to a demon? He could turn into a demon. He doesn't know what he's doing. All right, let's uh, try and finish this now. So first of all, we're gonna drop Urker alone to pop him open. Next, we'll drop these guys. That guy's so foot. He could have finished me off by turning into a demon there. He didn't realize it. What's his rank? Oh, come on, at 3,900 rank, you should know when you can become Demon Angron. Alright, that was a lucky win. I won because the other guy chose to lose. Let's find a better match. Okay, up against the Night Hunter. Wedge Core. I think I've played him before. Oh, I've got the perfect opening hand, though. Let's go ahead and get this started. How can you lie to me like this? How can you lie to yourself? So switch to dirty fighter mode to draw and attack. Most night hunters don't tend to pack a cheap two energy. Okay, he did. Ha! There's me. He actually got the perfect guy for his initial one. Gotta just go all out offensive against this guy. Really need my rule of fear to come out at this point. Recon call. I bet that's like the only two energy unit in this whole deck. Okay, well that worked out for me. We will go with Felician 5th and keep going because he can't attack Felician 5th. Yep, there we go, he's going for me directly. Let's go ahead and attack him and drop another Felician 5th and keep going. That's actually turned out pretty nicely, like he's got to do something about these guys or he's going to take a whopping 12 damage next turn. Ooh, Duke Mordekar. The Duke attack. Interesting move. So next up we're going to attack, take out the Duke and bring in the Reaper. Keep that pressure going on him. If I can get him down to 8 health or 10 health before turn 9, I'll be good. So the Raven will just finish him off at that point. Nostramo, interesting. Buying himself some time there. So I can drop a caper mode. And that's all this turn. Mm, 
running a little out of time here. Ugh, look at that hideous beast. This is unfortunate, but there's no way around it. I'm gonna have to do this. bringing out of his hand now. This is gonna get tough. I don't have a way of stopping him from becoming the Night Haunter now. Night Haunterish now. If he doesn't, he's made a terrible mistake. With the lowered attack on his Reaper of Kaldak, he cannot just instantly wipe out the uh, card promote. It's going to uh, do damage back in return and it might even finish him off. Oh, he made a mistake. into a night haunter instead he tried to press his advantage and he lost that so anyhow hopefully you can see now how this uh, new Sevadar deck does in combat it's a bit more reliable I find just because you're not really relying on recon claw to do a lot of the work for you so uh, yeah let's go ahead and take another look at how that build uh, was and uh, uh, if you like this video, please don't rem uh, don't forget to subscribe. Rather, um, I'm hoping on making a video later this week on Narek Draker, and I also have a, an extra special surprise video coming this Thursday as well. So, anyhow, um, stay tuned, and there'll be a lot more to come. Have fun playing with Sevadar, guys. Bye for now.